It's been years since I've been home. I think it's good to go back, to remember myself. Even though bad things happen in life, I was me before they happened, and I will be me after they happen. Maybe just a little bit wiser. The little Tori is still there, and she was here first. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, nice. Aww. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> he didn't care. church where I grew up going to. Hmm? Oh, this is me. I need this. <laughs> Don't fight. Okay, so we're doing a really impromptu quick wedding for my mother. And, um, so she's getting married today. And this is the old church that I grew up in. Patrick, this is just a natural thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Be not natural. natural. Why? Jeez. This is my autistic brother. Uh, I'm autistic. He's the other one that's autistic. Hey, We're both up? autistic, so like there you go. That's my excuse for life. <laughs> that's his excuse for the way he behaves. <laughs> um, my other siblings are a little bit more normal, but not that. Weird. All right, we just planned this wedding in like 10 minutes right now. Get in the, get in the audience. Why are you in here? Get, get in the audience. Get in the, We're starting now. <laughs> this is my mother, the bride. There you go. <clears throat> Don't look in here. Get back. Wait, how are we gonna know when to start? Give us like a secret wink. A secret wink? Okay. <laughs> what? Why is. I have to go to the What are you doing, Patrick? We're starting. We're starting. Patrick, go sit back down. I do believe that my brother is on the spectrum. I'm diagnosed, but he's not diagnosed yet. But we struggle with a lot of the same things. Maybe it's a little different. Patrick, we're waiting on you. Get in there. Go, Patrick, go sit down. <laughs> All right. It was nice that my mom decided to get married when we were all home, except I'm missing one sister, and that's my sister, Summer. But it's very rare to get us all together. I'd have to say my brother and I probably require the most attention from my mom. I wish I would have got when my brother spilt hot candle wax all over my mom in this. How about we put the candles down and just have it normal? Yeah, yeah. 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 thought of the candles. So that was the really quick wedding, and um, now we're just cleaning before they get home so they can come home to a clean place. This is not the house I grew up in, by the way. I have no idea the direction of this vlog, but I'm just here vlogging, so. Oh, can we do the Enneagram thing, Leah? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, so like, my sis. My sis <laughs> my siblings are into like personality types and enneagram stuff and trying to figure me out and fix me. She even, she even, um, she's a herbalist, so she gave me where did that go? A tincture for my nerves because she knows I've been 
quite not well lately. <laughs> but uh, this is called a skull cap. And yeah, it's really strong. And I just kind of like put it in. I have a lot of like PS PTSD. Maybe, maybe it'll help me. And then studying about my personality type, just kind of taking care of myself again because I haven't been able to very well. I've lost a lot of weight, probably like 107 pounds or something now, which is like at least 15 pounds less than what I weighed before. So I lost a lot of weight. Uh, uh, I was really stressed. I'm going to Montreal after this. The only reason I'm going there is because my sister's gonna go there, and I just need to be around her. I need to be around people that love me. There's different versions. No, I sing it like that. Yeah. 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 I'm going to. Don't get me in the camera. <laughs> like I said, this is not where I grew up, but I wasn't able to film where I did, where I did grow up. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ask some, I'm gonna ask you guys to ask questions on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna have her answer some questions for you guys. And yes, if you want to know, I did grow up in the country with a lot of animals, which I really miss. I'm gonna post on Instagram for people to ask us questions. My mom's a very high strung lady. I'm very, very low key. She's low key, high strung. This is the big town of Greenville. This is where I. This is. This is like where everyone goes for uh, Walmart. <laughs> I know, it's pretty wild. Foreshadowing. This energy drink gave me the worst anxiety I've like ever had. I don't recommend. Oh, it's so sweet. Gross. All right, so we're done at the gym and I'm really shaky from the pre-workout I had there. I had like a full can of like C4 and I've never had that stuff before and I feel so anxious right now. So like, I'm gonna try to focus and concentrate but right now we're going to the Amish store which is uh, like a bulk foods discounted price store that the Amish run so I'll show that to you guys uh, my mom goes there a lot to get a lot of her food because it's all like kind of like expired or damaged uh, food or whatever so we've always liked to go there. We like expired food. When we were growing up we went to the Amish stores a lot but also I told them I made a video about us dumpster diving. We did? Yeah it's true right? I don't want to explain the background of the Amish stores. What are the, what's the background? The Amish are having a hard time. They have to find things to do that they can, it's consistent with their lifestyles. And they're allowed, um, I'm not going to say too much about it because I don't really know that much about it. <laughs> hey, let me tell you the backstory. Well, you know what, I don't really know it. <laughs> oh, my heart is beating so fast right now. What was I'm Victoria like as a kid? She would walk around saying, how do you like my song? Because like my parents like never pay attention to me, so I had to like yeah, try to get their children. Uh, what do you think of Victoria's recent hard times? I, like I tell her she's a shining light and could go shine. You never ever yes, said that. I did last time we had that conversation. Yeah, I've called, I've actually talked to my mom a ton during this time, more than I ever have, and I think I've been the most vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable. I don't like that word either. It's hard to say. She, I get that not being able to say words properly from her. Um, but I think I've been the most vulnerable that I ever have in my life during this hard time. Do you think so? Well, I think you're starting to get grow up a little bit. Well, I know. I think I'm just like completely like losing all pride and all ego. <laughs> Which is good. I just feel kind of pathetic now. Yeah, yeah. Very. Palm is open. Yay. Swamp Acres Salvage. I don't so, know if you're allowed to put names on YouTube. Um, okay. You guys all come here. <laughs> for your... names like that on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> what, they're going to sue me? The Amish are like going to go online and sue me? I don't think so. Um, I have $10 to spend. See what we can get for $10 because you can get a heck of a lot more here than you can in Walmart. It's really cheap here. Yeah, Walmart's a fancy place. We don't go there. Yeah. If you don't know about the Amish, they're basically very peaceful people who don't use electricity and keep things simple. So that was the Amish store. 
Yeah, they have super cheap razors there. I basically got uh, like some nail polishes for like nice, nice nail polish for like 50 cents each. And if you guys want to know how to get a bargain, yeah. I am leaving Pennsylvania tomorrow. You, you know how you feel about home. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's good to be with your family, but it's definitely not like my home anymore. You know, I've been gone and away from it for a long time and I never, the reason I moved out is because it's just not for me. Like, you know? This lighting. I don't know what. I don't have much more to use here. Actually, it triggers me hardcore. <laughs> don't do that. It's never happened to me before. Like, you? <laughs> no, I don't oh, like that. Thanks for cool. driving us. Bye. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in two years, Mom. Yeah, make it quicker than that. I'm always just at the weight limit for luggage. At this time, I was over the weight limit. How many pounds are you over? Five. Those might be like. So apparently there's a thing called an alternate security checkpoint, which everyone else seems to know about too, but yeah. I think it's even longer than the other one. Alright, so we made it. And I got this little stimming thing. It's a stopwatch, pocket watch thing. But it, like you wind it and you can listen to it. So we're heading to Montreal now. <coughs> Me and my sister we're traveling together. This <laughs> is the smallest plane ever. My thing could not fit like up in the apartment. <laughs> so we like stuffed it under there. I don't know, we'll see if it works. I'm just ready to be there already. Canada. We are here in Canada. Hello, Canada. It is snowing right now. Um, apparently, this is warm weather for Canada. It's like uh, 26 degrees Fahrenheit. My main goal is to get settled in and find a gym, find a thrift store, and get some warmer clothes because I lost my hat. In any case, thank you for coming along with me on this journey to Canada. I don't know what I'm doing here, or what I'm gonna find, or anything at all, as per usual. Um, it's just kind of a place that is cheaper and my sisters are here and from here I want to try and figure out what I'm doing. I'll see you in the next adventure. Stay extraterrestrial. We're gonna do this. Okay. <laughs>